there. It's Kim from FrugalMindedMom.com and I hope you're all having a wonderful day and you're having a pretty spring day and hopefully for all of you in the north, it's now spring finally. Um, it's a beautiful day here, about 78, so perfect weather. And I just got back from my Aldi weekly shopping trip and as the title says, sort of got a shock. Um, I bought my normal stuff and my staples and one was course this evaporated milk which I just shared a recipe that why this is a new staple and I'll give you the link it's actually a pressure cooker mac and cheese and it's yummy and it's become one of my kids favorites but that wasn't my shock at the store so I bought my regulars like I bought my evaporated milk I bought my produce bananas and apples for the kiddos and some carrots and I got other regular things like the staples on my list like the snacks like pretzels Granola bars, you can't beat these for $1.39, I think it's $1.49, cannot beat that. Granola bars, $1.49, even with a coupon, you cannot get a 10-pack for that price. Um, and we go through a lot of, my kids go through a lot of these cheeses. So, got my snacks, my regular things. Not a shock, these are everything I get all the time, like my whole wheat bread. Now, where the shock came was in what they can, oh, and I also usually get yogurt, because that's a good deal. Yes, occasionally you can get it for like five or cents cheaper at the grocery store with coupons, but my kids like this brand, so I stock up all the time. So I got my regular things. Then I decided I like to go to the seasonal things, or what I think of as the seasonal things. So, and those are the things when you first enter the store. So today I got some white cheddar popcorn. Yes, I could probably make this stuff, but my daughter loves this for a snack, and it's a good snack, so I picked her up some. and. We only have it for a little bit, and I'm going to turn this a little bit so we're out of the sun. Hopefully you can see me better. Um, so she likes this, so I got that. And this is a seasonal thing, too, and I know they're not going to have this for a long time. It was Granny Smith applesauce. This stuff is actually cheaper than the regular applesauce they sell, and it's a specialty thing. I think I got it for $1.39. And when I say seasonal, I mean the things right when you walk in the door. And I know they're not going to be there long, so if I see them, I stock up and get several of them. Um... Then the other seasonal section that you're usually used to is it's where it says specialty item. And for me, it's always right as you go to the back of the store, you turn left. And that's been at about three different stores I've gone to. There's a specialty section. And there, sometimes, you'll find, like, the sharp cheddar cheese. Or sometimes, you'll find, like, tapioca there. My husband loves these. Um, sometimes, you even find um, ricotta cheese there. And... You know what? I know not to expect those to be there all the time. I told my husband, I said, sometimes these might be gone. Or like this Parmesan cheese, which I love, but I know sometimes it's not going to be there because they consider it a seasonal item. Um, other seasonal items that they, I'm not surprised they're seasonal, they might be gone, Or what's in the weekly sale. For instance, today I bought this grill and bake fat. Since it's grilling season, it's spring, it's nice outside. Um, we can cook and I'm thinking I can cook some vegetables and maybe when hurricane season comes around if I ever lose power I can keep cooking so those are all things I expect the big shot came and when I went to get one of the main things I had on my shopping list today that item was cornstarch do you know what they considered this I, I looked and there was none there and so when I went up to the register I said to the lady I said hmm, I was a little disappointed you got a cornstarch and she said, well, that's because it's considered a seasonal item. This cornstarch that costs 89 cents, they only sell it in the winter down here. Can you tell me why? It was a big shock. I said, you know, I don't cook with this in the winter. I use this to thicken gravy. Some people use it for deodorant. Other people use it for diaper rash. If you're going to consider this seasonal, then are they going to start considering this seasonal? Or this seasonal? Or even salt seasonal because you cook with those too are they going to take that away so anyways that you bake with them but I don't bake with this ever 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 I don't do winter baking does anyone out there do does anyone out there do baking with cornstarch has anyone noticed that cornstarch disappears from their store well if you do what the lady who was my cashier who happens to be the manager of the store told me today and this is how you can help me out is if you notice something that's seasonal and you want it to be there year round is to email Aldi at their contact. And I happen to have that for you all today. Okay, so Jessica, you use it in winter baking. What do you use it for winter baking? Like um, breads or what? Because I do use it in soups to thicken it. That's what I use it mainly for in gravies. 
but um, I use it for a lot. I use it a lot in the summer, so I'm a little just wondering, but they, if you can tell me what you use in the winter baking, maybe I can start using it for that. But what she said is if you want something there all year long, um, and this is how she's gotten ricotta cheese to be at her store all year long, is you email Baldi, and they will listen. Oh, cookies. I've never used it in cookies. I will have to look for a recipe that does. Um, you email them, and the link is www.aldi.us backslash en backslash contact. And I'll put that down in, yeah, breads. I don't make a lot of those, but I should try. <laughs> um, you email them, and I put, I'll put i put that in a comment link. And I did it today, and it's not like a normal email. They actually have a form that you're going to fill out, and you put your name and your address and your information. You put your store information, and then the item that you're talking about. So they, as I put down that it was a product availability problem. And then I just mentioned it. So we'll see if I hear anything back. But she said, have all your friends email, and maybe they'll get to have it all year long. Because I don't know about you, but I like paying 89 cents for this and not having to go to the store, like the grocery store, where I'll probably pay $1.79 or so. So once again, we're getting too sunny. I'm not going to complain, though. I love the sun. Um, so anyways, if you could email them for me, or if there's a product that you want, then you can email them, too. So maybe then you could have, my daughter could have um, the popcorn all year long, which she loves. So, yeah, I do, I do agree, Jessica, that it is it does go a long way. It's been a long time since I bought this one. Um, but I've been noticing that I use it a little bit more than what I had in the past. So when I make gravy, I'm using like maybe a quarter of a cup. So it does go by rather fast. So I was bummed I couldn't find it, and so I'm going to try a dollar store, but that's still... 11 cents more. Anyone else have any ideas of where I can find it? Just let me know or send all the email. I'd appreciate it greatly. And have a great day. How, um, is there anything too that you found to be seasonal that you're bummed about there? So hope you're having a great day and enjoy shopping at Ollie. Bye-bye.